Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use a special modifier called the Array modifier to duplicate your objects with equal spacing in different directions. So I'll get straight into it. So I'll press Shift and NA on the keyboard and I'll left click on Cube. Then under my modifier properties, which is just this wrench icon, make sure your cube is selected. I'll click Add modifier and I'll left click Array. Now, Straight away you can see it's duplicated my object precisely next to each other and if I come over to this count value I can increase it and it'll make that longer. So for this example I'll go up to 8. You'll see here we have a few values. For now we're just going to work with the x one but essentially this is whatever direction we're duplicating the object. So I'll change it to 1.2 so I'll just click this button twice and now you can see there is some equal spacing between my cubes. I'll increase that a little bit higher but 1.4 should do nicely. Now what if I wanted to duplicate my objects but in the opposite direction? Well I would just need to change this factor value from 1.4 to minus 1.4 and now you can see it's duplicating in the opposite direction. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo that. As you might have already guessed the same applies for all these other axes here. So if I click this press Ctrl C to copy the number and then press Ctrl V here. Well here we have a nice diagonal shape but then I set my X back to 0. You'll see now it's going in this direction. If I wanted to make it go up the way I could turn my Y value to 0 and then now I'll increase my Z value. And now you can see it's going up the way. I'll leave it like that just now. So I'll just come down to this drop down here and click apply. I'm going to select this with left click. Then I'll just press G and an X and move it along just now. Press shift A again. And this time I'm going to choose a cone. Then I'll come back to my modifier properties. Add modifier. And I'll choose array again. Increase the count to 5. And now I'm going to press shift A again. And I'll select UV sphere. I'll then add an array to this one and also increase it to 5. Now, what if I wanted to have it intersecting? So it'd be one cone and then one sphere. Well, to do that, first, I'll need to press G and then X and then 2. Since all these are haven't been scaled at all, they will all move relative to the same number. I'll leave the cones as they are, and I'm going to increase the factor here. So I'll just increase it to roughly 2 should be fine. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here as well. I'll change my factor on the X axis to 2. And here we have it. Obviously, the same will apply in any other direction, whether it be minus X, Z, or minus Y. So just keep that in mind. I'll drag and select all these, and then just press X. Now I'll left click my cube in my panel here, and I'll press G and X, and move it back along. Or actually what I can do is I can press Alt G, and that will return it to its original position. And now, since I've applied my modifier, I'm now going to add a new one. So I'll come down to add modifier and I will select array again. One thing to keep in mind when using mul multiple modifiers, I didn't have to apply the last one, so if you still have your modifier on, this will still work. I was just applying it for the sake of organization. So I'll increase my count to eight, like I did with the other one, and I'll change my factor to 1.4. And now you can see I've got a nice grid here, I'm going to increase it in the other direction as well. So I can either apply this or I can just go ahead and add another modifier. It doesn't really matter. So I'll add another array modifier. This time I'm going to change it across the Y axis. So I'll do 1.4 and I'll change my factor of X to 0 and I'll change my count to 8. Now we have a nice looking grid here. And yeah, this is some of the stuff you can do with this tool. So hopefully you all found it useful. Thank you all very much for watching and if you enjoyed it, Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I make more videos in the future. Thank you all again and I'll see you in the next video.